I'm really excited today. We finally have some evidence of Professor Hathaway's involvement. Uh, Super Ted managed to retrieve a letter from the hard drive written by someone called Sarah Lewis. So I'll give you a read of this letter now. It's quite a long one, so bear with me. Um, okay, here goes. Dear colleagues, Humanity has long since been proven to be self-destructing. History gives us proof and reason to worry about our future, to fear that we will never be able to break away from the cycle and to change for the better. I was exhilarated with Dr Hathaway's invitation to participate in the recent convention and was glad to learn that Hathaway, true to his character and beliefs, has given us an opportunity to break out and with such an amazing team of people and skills too. I hope that you all feel as honoured as I to be part of this elite committee to work on this project, which I think should really be called the Hathaway Ark. We have always struggled between the need to survive and the need to succeed as individuals. Our inherited culture and memory fights internally with our education and knowledge-based culture, continuously reasoning and opposing the other to develop a better self. The irony is that this process in itself brings on unease and distortions internally. In the most recent researches in the study of cultural memory and memory change through education, we can take comfort in knowing that where someone is taught a culture at an early age, he or she will adopt the culture with ease. Cultural memory can be overcome. The age of the subject is crucial in this point. We have known this for decades through animal training and domestication, where the younger the specimen, the more likely that it will take on the domestic environment and the less likely it will be able to be reintroduced into its natural habitat. Humans are no different in this context. With great respect, I will be working with colleagues in children's psychology, health and development to determine the best selection for participation. The papers on this will be made available to those who require it. Please contact our colleagues handling with the network systems for access. Once we have a basic set of criteria to work with, we will proceed to the next stage to map these criteria with those that are developed by the DNA slash genealogy team so that the selection process may physically begin. The energy from this project is astounding and with such careful organisation and management from Dr Hathaway, I have no doubt that we will be progressing very quickly in all directions. Thank you again for having me as part of this committee. I look forward to the day when we can rejoice for the future of humanity for perfection. Dr. Sarah Lewis. And that's the letter there. Okay, so who Sarah Lewis is, I'm still trying to find out. Um, I've looked into it. Um, as always, if you have any information, please do get in touch with me. Um, I have initially found a chartered occupational psychologist with the British Psychological Institute um, with the same name. Now, I can't be sure if it's the same person as I don't think that Sarah Lewis in the letter is an occupational psychologist as she talks about cultural memory and working with children. Um, so, I mean, you know, I'm looking into that. If you have any info, let me know. Um, but with regards to the Hathaway Ark, which they talk about in the letter, I'd like to little to like dig a little bit more onto that subject, um, as in they're talking about the selection process. So, I mean, who or what are they selecting? Um, I mean, it says that the lines before they're talking about children, so. Is it only children, or is that what they're talking about? Is it children that they're talking about? I'm not quite sure. Um, but it does definitely seem like there's something more to this arc than we can gauge just from this letter. Um, yeah, there is a whole paragraph there on children specifically, so I'll look into that. But um, So based on the things that we've found so far, with regards to the email, the letter... Um, it seems to me like there's some sort of research being done into the interstellar navigation system which we found out in the initial email um, some piece of massive construction being done underwater which we found from the uh, dredging company list and also some sort of arc which we see from this letter um, which seems to be put together so all in all, quite a lot of stuff really. 
Um, Michael Schultz got in touch with me and suggested that perhaps they're building a containment around something underwater, which, um, like some superstructure or something, which I'm leaning towards because it sounds the most probable suggestion I've had. Um, but as to why that's connected with the Hathaway Ark or the uh, interstellar navigation system, I don't know. Um, so, I don't know, maybe we'll find out. Um, please do let me know if you find anything yourself on these matters. But, um, with the landing of curiosity, there's been a lot of talk as to when humans will be exploring space again. I'm beginning to think that maybe we already have. 